has three first downs in this first quarter. You'll see here they tried to go straight ahead with their big fullback right over Ron Argent and Brad Benson, but there was no going in there as Kentucky was right there to stop that play. Gain of a yard. Fusina is down, and that was probably the final play of the first half. I swore somebody was offside there. That was a the middle linebacker, Ray. I'm not sure he was offside, but he was on a blitz, and he definitely tore that play up. That was Mike Martin. No gain on the play. There's Big Stutz. Might have been a loss of a yard. Wait, the Chuck is just is just getting this ball off, possibly a little late, but he gave because he gave that defensive back a chance to cut in front of the receiver, and boy, that's dangerous because from there in it's touchdown all the way, and he just dropped the ball. It is now third and nine. Sure, when Chuck Cena throws this ball, he wish he could get it back because it's very hard to throw a ball in this situation. You know, this guy hanging on him, he had nobody open. I think he should have thrown it out of bounds. Big Dave Stutz. One yard, that's all. Ran into Fedrowski. <laughs> Malak has a first down at the Penn State 45-yard line. The Penn State tailback ran into David Stevens, a big, aggressive defensive end, number 82. There he is. He's the one that wanted to wrestle Fusina to the ground long after the play. Okay. Stevens, 82. Winkle, 83. Blanton, 92. Ramey, 79. Still, 97. The front five. They play a nose guard. Blanton over the center. There was no gain on that play. It's second down and 10. Fusina nailed for a loss by Bob Winkle about five yards. It'll be third and 15. Here it is again, Max. Right, you'll see here, I think for a young man that hasn't played much, he made a good play here. He didn't see anybody open. He was able to hold the ball. The rush finally got to him, but had someone been open, he could have got the ball away. Rich Marty goes to the right. Scott Fitzke to the left. Penn State. <laughs> Mickey Schuler, the intended receiver, intercepted by Rick Hayden, and Kentucky has the football. Chuck Fasina throws it in a pretty bad place in a passing situation on a long yardage. When you put that ball in the middle, you're asking for trouble, and you see it right here. It just couldn't get to the ball in an interception, and that might be uh, not too good of a call. Great the timing on the handoff. He's fortunate to get to the line of scrimmage. They pulled down in front of him. You're going to see a lot of this as the rain <laughs> This is intercepted by Kentucky. It was in and out of Corey's hands. And it was... This is going to be a Kentucky touchdown by Dallas Owen. This is Steve Geist. And Kentucky's Art Still makes a fine play. Great. That was an All-American defensive play. That was a counter play. They pull a guard on still. They try to trap him. He just played off the guard, fell back to the end. Steve Geis. Super defensive play by Dick Down level. They're lining up. It's just a slant play from a power set to the left. Very well played by the defensive halfback. But Art still will line up on the... Gooman is nailed by Jake. This is Steve Geist. Well, first and 15. Max Sui. Fusina. Didn't make it. No. Or 11.36 left in the game. Cephalo. And a pass intercepted by Dallas Owens. And Kentucky has intercepted Fusina for the third time today. First was for a touchdown. Kentucky, first and 10 at the Kentucky 49. Play. 
This is a sweep to the left. Now, Suey comes out, makes a good block, but this guy still strings it out. Linebacker comes over. Mike, this is just Ramey, one-on-one, beating his man, coming to the inside here. Power line formation. He does not make it. Fumble. Fumble. Who has it? Who has it? Kirchbaum recovers the fumble, and Kentucky needs only to hold on to the ball for three minutes and six seconds. They shift it to a power set, giving the ball to Stewie, one of their stronger runners, tries to take it inside the end, then takes it outside, strip to the ball, Kentucky has it. So Kentucky. This is Goodman. And a tremendous play. And down goes Fusina in the arms of Richard Jaffe, the middle guard. It is punt formation time, and I can't say enough about this Kentucky defense. Uh, let's watch it. Watch Jaff come up. Jaffe come up the middle. He beat Carell on this all the way. Still grabs him from the outside. So Fitzky to Fusina. Very short yardage as linebacker Mike Martin. Max Stewart. He is about. <laughs> so Fusina is dropped by tackle Jerry Blanton. And Kentucky is again going to have excellent field position as Scott Fitzke will be punting from near the goal line. I Kentucky had the blitz on, went to man-to-man -to -man coverage, made too much penetration, and threw Fusina for Play third quarter. This is a Penn, sweep. Penn State has yet to pick up a first down. Right, right. Still strings this out. Now Mike's trying to make a quick cut to the inside, but the pursuit cuts him down. Kentucky. So for Fran Kersey and his Kentucky Wildcats, Win number three, and a sweet win it is. Second in a row, having won last year resoundingly at Lexington, Kentucky. The Wildcats pull off one of the early season big upsets in intercollegiate football. Well, those are our thoughts. Now let's find out Joe Paterno's thoughts on the game shapers of this Kentucky contest. They played a great defensive game. Uh, they took so many things away from us. They played alert. They were aggressive. We couldn't stay on blocks. They tackled well. And overall, just played a great football game. I thought our defensive people played a great game. And I think any time you get two good defensive teams playing each other and the offense gives up two easy ones as we did, uh, you're, you're going to get licked. And that's what happened to us. Both clubs played very well defensively. Uh, Kentucky made no mistakes on offense. We made too many, and I was about to start the game. Can you give me some of the key plays of the game? <laughs> well, I, I think, of course, the key plays of the game would have to be the two early mistakes we made when we were ahead 10 nothing, and then gave them two scores uh, to put them ahead 14-10, and then they started to believe they could lick us because that, I don't want to take anything away from Kentucky. Now what do we look for in the Utah game, Utah State? Well, I, I think that this team's a young team. I'm, uh, I never really expected us to be 3-1 uh, and one at this stage when we started. I think we've got a great future, and uh, we'll, go, we'll go back to work, and we'll get better as a result of this game. Thanks, Elijah. 